Hi everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how to repair a rip in your fabric. Um, this is for when your um, tear or your rip is not in a seam but just in the fabric somewhere. I've done these um, a lot right in the crotch area when when you squat and then sometimes you'll get a tear up here. But this client um, wants to keep the holes in the knees but he caught his foot here and then ripped it so he wants this fixed. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Now um, you could either put a patch on the back, put a patch on the front, but what I'm going to do is normally I would use something like this because this is the interfacing, um, but it's actually on a woven fabric, which would be ideal. But because I had this on something else and I took it off, I, the adhesive dots are not like they were when I bought it new. So I'm not using that one. I'm using this one and it's sort of like a fabric here. It'll hold up. It's just not woven like an actual fabric. And this is new so it has the nice big adhesive dots. So um, let's get over to the ironing board and I'll show you what to do. Before you get started on doing this, um, make sure your garment is clean. I don't use fabric softener and make sure that it's dry and then you clean up um, as many little fibers as you can to make sure you get a good um, seal or a good um, whatever you want to call it <laughs> with the adhesive. Make sure it's going to stick to the fabric and then apply it according to the instructions on your interfacing and the heat that your garment can handle. I believe the interfacing instructions are say don't steam it. Sometimes I do just to kind of not a lot but to, to get the heat in there quicker because I'm impatient. Make sure it has it's it's um, stuck really well and I don't see anything coming up off that. So now we need to get over to the sewing machine. Okay, find a thread that matches your garment or if you want to use a different color to add a pop of color, that would be fine too. So I just need to get this under the presser foot without having the pants underneath it. Okay, from here, I'm just starting at the top and I'm gonna do a front and back um, stitch, sort of like a zigzag. So forward, needle down, lift the presser foot and back up. Needle down. And you just keep moving it like this. It's, this is kind of weird for me because it's been a while since I've done it on this machine. I'm going to get down below the tear and I'm going to run a few stitches down there just to prevent it from tearing any further. So right here I'll straighten it up and just do some back and forth. So that is the finished product. 